Anybody been brainwashed before? Just curious. A couple honest people, okay, two or three. Do you guys mind if I brainwash you? Is that cool? <laughs> One person's very trusting. Okay, well, I'm going to take the rest of that as a yes. I'm going to try to brainwash you guys. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell you a story. And at the end of the story, I'm going to ask you two questions that have specific answers. If you know the answers to the questions, you have not been brainwashed. Congratulations. But if you don't know, I've brainwashed you. I got you to think the way I want you to think, and you probably have no idea how it happened, and it probably happened in the very first sentence. You ready? Now, if you know the answer, don't yell it out loud, but here we go. Here's the story. Once upon a time, a man left home jogging. He jogged a little ways, turned left, jogged a little ways, turned left, jogged a little ways, turned left, and he jogged back home. As he was jogging back home, he noticed two masked men were waiting for him at home. That's the story, short and sweet. Here are the questions. Who were the masked men and why did he leave home jogging? Now, if you know the answers, just raise your hand. Anybody know? I see one person, two, maybe three. So around 99% of you have been brainwashed. Congratulations. Feel good? Let's try it one more time. Give you one more shot at it. Here we go. Once upon a time, a man left home jogging. He jogged a little ways, turned left. Give you a hint. Left is important. He jogged a little ways, turned left. Jogged a little ways, turned left. Jogged a little ways, turned left. And he jogged back home. As he's jogging back home, he noticed two masked men were waiting for him at home. Again, here are the questions. Who were the masked men and why did he leave home jogging? Did anybody new get it? Anybody new? One person over here. All right. So still around 98% of you have been brainwashed. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Now I'm going to unbrainwash you and I'm going to do it with a simple picture. And when you see this, you'll probably kick yourself or at least your neighbor and think, why could I not figure this out? This is so easy. You ready? Once upon a time, a man left home jogging. He jogged a little ways, turned left, jogged a little ways, turned left, jogged a little ways, turned left, and he jogged back home. The two masked men were the catcher and the umpire. So easy, right? Why couldn't you figure that out? Well, probably when I said home, you thought of what? House, jogging, some exercise. He came back. The masked men were you know, robbers, bad guys of some sort. And notice... Once you started interpreting those words in a particular way, it was almost impossible to see them in any other way. In a real sense, you were brainwashed. Do you want to see how multiple generations have been brainwashed in a real sense? Give them a book like this. It says, I can read about dinosaurs. What do you think are the first words in the book? You guys have this book, right? Millions of years ago. Here's another one. First words. Millions of years ago. Even the beloved Dr. Seuss has it. Millions of years ago. This idea permeates our culture. There's a whole talk on that. As a matter of fact, me and my family went to Disney World a few years ago. You know, the magical kingdom. And we went to the animal kingdom. Went to Dino Land. And that day was not magical for me. All right? Because as we walked around in Dino Land, we took a ride on the roller coaster that went back 65 million years in time to catch a dino. We dug around in the bone park to find bones representing fossils millions of years old. We took a walk on the Cretaceous Trail that represented the world 65 million years ago. Again, it is literally everywhere. Or think about it like this. I want you guys to meet little Joey. He's five years old, about to start school. Could be public, private, homeschool, Christian, really doesn't matter. And he already knows about evolution, Big Bang, dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, people evolved from apes. He knows that already. How? I want you to meet Joey's teachers. Guys, they're so cute and harmless, right? And as they watch these shows one after another, they're being indoctrinated with a different worldview because, guys, I think, I fear that we have forgotten a very important truth, and that's this. We are not the only fishers of men. We're just not. And really, dinosaurs is one of the primary baits that the secularists use to try to reel us in and reel, us, reel our kids into this secular worldview, to the evolutionary worldview that says the Bible's history can't be trusted. And if you can't trust the Bible's history, why trust it about anything else? I mean, if we can't trust the Bible when it talks about earthly things, why should we trust it when it talks about heavenly things? That would not make any sense. And that's why it's so important that we are prepared to give an answer for the faith that we have, where the Bible is being attacked today. And that's why we need answers about dinosaurs.